Hello everybody, my name is Uber and I welcome you in Darksiders 3. Finally, after playing Darksiders 1, where we played as War, after playing Darksiders 2, where we played as Death, the time has finally come for Darksiders 3, where we are playing as Fury. And, oh boy, I, I feel like it will be very, very cool. So, a few things before, before we start. Uh, Darksiders 3, you cannot find remastered version or anything like that. Uh, it is happening because uh, the game is fairly new. It came out in 2018, I believe. And, you know, because of that there wasn't really enough time for remastering that, right? Uh, but what you can do is you can buy it bundled with uh, Darksiders 1 and 3. I believe it is called Darksiders Blades and Whip. Uh, packs, something like that. It doesn't matter, but uh, I, I'm sure you can Google that. Uh, but what matters is uh, in that pack you've got Darksiders 1, the War Mastered version, Darksiders 2, Definitive Edition, so with all the DLCs, and Darksiders 3 with all the DLCs. So it's pretty good value, uh, especially, especially when you can find it on a really good sale, as I did. And I bought it quite a while ago thinking about it about one year ago something like that it doesn't matter let's go with the game I already played a little bit of the game just to make sure that everything is running all right that everything is recording all right that there are no uh, issues with audio and so on and I also have to say that uh, I watched someone play this game but it was right when the game came out so, you know, there's a little bit of time difference from that moment to right now. So, I don't remember everything. And if you think right now that I will be able to just go through every possible puzzle and battle without any problems, then no, you are not missing the, the boring part of me playing games. Oh no, uh, I will for sure suck at that. But let's go. Let's go with new game. Let's... Uh, Oh, I haven't played one hour, I played 50 minutes, okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's go. I would like to go with balance, difficulty. I don't want to go with anything harder, but as you can see, there's quite a lot of uh, stuff that you can choose from. And it's quite interesting. And I don't want, also want to go with story. Let's go with balanced. And I was thinking about it, like, what the hell is that even, right? Uh, they are they changed uh, they changed the combat system and I was like what the hell is that and you know I've been thinking about it uh, we I already played Darksiders 1 and 2 uh, and I recently uh, finished playing Darksiders 2 so I should be able to uh, you know uh, to remember how combat looks like in Darksiders 2 and also Darksiders 1. But I thought to myself, you know what, screw it. Those game, game developers uh, figure out something new, something brand new that wasn't in previous two parts of the, of the series, right? So let's go with that, let's go with the default one uh, that we've got for this game especially. Let's go. And I don't want to enable Nightmare Mode because I don't know what that is. I just go with the normal game. Let's go. Why did the creator construct a universe teeming with imperfection, misery, sin? Among the scholars of both heaven and hell, this query is known as the riddle of sorrows. If sin is itself a part of the grand design, is not sin, then, by definition, divine? A question for the sages. Though one particularly restless bunch kept a robust relationship to the topic, the Nephilim. Spawn of angels and demons, warriors, relentless, unstoppable, blood-mad, until they were betrayed by four of their own. War, death, fury, and strength. 
tribe. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Inconceivable power was bestowed upon the traitors by those sworn to maintain symmetry, twixt order and chaos. The Charred Council. Bear witness as the Council holds court to end the Nephilim War in the name of balance. This is the new pact. War. Bringer of worldwide fire, you are the juggernaut of all pain. Death, dark soul of eternity. You are the deepest decay. You are empty life. Strife, endless spirit of timeless unrest. You are all that is unsettled in the hearts of that which lives and breathes. And finally, fury. Terrible engine of rage. You are the machine that. Are we to waste our time on ceremony or are we to fight? Step forward and recognize, horseman. You are the most impatient of your kin. The least predictable, dancing on the edge of your own reality. Your brothers understand the undertaking set before them. But do you? Still talking! Shall I have Death fetch us some tea, or can we get on with it? Fury, your role in this story is yet to be written. I wonder, will you light the flame of creation anew, or stomp out the embers for good? Dreams more thrilling than reality. Had I known the new pact would be so exciting, I would have let walls separate my head from my neck then and there. Is it possible to die of boredom? Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am. Perhaps you're just lazy. If I didn't love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. The call? Finally. Please, please, please tell me you're a planet of demons that needs slaying. Or two. War. What pathetic fate have you brought upon yourself, brother? Watch your tongue. <laughs> I may be least favored of all the horses, but my tongue never found me chained to a rock like some dog. Fury, approach us. I take it there is a mess that needs tending to. Though you jest, you speak true. War has broken his vows to this council, and shattered the Seventh Seal. <sighs> the Apocalypse. Why would he... We know not. Yet. As we speak, Earth falls beneath the spears of Heaven and the hammers of Hell. So the horsemen are to ride. No. While the Charred Council seeks to understand how and why the Traitor War has committed this abominable act, there is a matter that requires delicate attention. We should have called Strife. He's the delicate one. The Seven Deadly Sins have been released. By whom, we cannot say. But the Seven roam the Earth, free of our prison. The balance between order and chaos is already in jeopardy. The Seven cannot be left unchecked. War is in chains. Death is missing. Strife attends to other matters. The last time you faced the sins, it required all four of you. I can handle those fools in my sleep. But when this task is complete, I demand that you grant me my rightful place leading the horsemen. If you betrayed obedience, 
for a title, so be it. But never make a demand upon us, horsemen. You depart immediately. Greetings, Miss Fury. I must admit, this is a fortuitous fate. A watcher? You doubt my allegiance? Please, be not cross. I am such an admirer. Scratch that. I'm a fan. You are the horseman. The only one that matters. Enough! I will allow you to accompany me. Just stay out of my way. I will be as unto a shadow. Steadfast. Silent. More silence! Go! Seek out the place called Haven. Your quest for the seven deadly begins there. Fury. Wait. I... Whatever has passed between us, search your heart. You cannot believe I am guilty of these crimes. Something is wrong with the universe. Be vigilant, Fury. Forces conspire against us. Keep my word! Okie dokie, that was interesting start, right? Oh yeah. And what an entrance, look at that. Nice. What a cool way to say hello world. I'm here. Okie dokie, so few things that I would like to note right, uh, right at the beginning. Like, holy shit, what we just learned. We learned, first of all, about the timeline. Where this game is in relation to other games, right? So we know that it is happening right after the start of the first Darksiders. So after uh, War was, well, sent, called to the Earth. Uh, then he was killed and then he faced the justice of the Council of Char... The Chart Council, right? And we also know that... Uh, it is happening right after uh, after that beginning, because uh, when war is returning in Darksiders 1, back to Earth, it's happening 100 years ago, and the the Earth is ruled by demons, and that's it. And we will learn uh, in just a few moments that right now there are still angels and demons fighting with each other. So not everything is lost yet f for the Earth, right? And because of what we heard, that uh, Death is missing, he went somewhere, we know that right now it is also, uh, it's happening in the same time as Darksiders 2. So it is very important news for us, right? From what I remember, what I heard about Darksiders Genesis, I believe it is happening before uh, events of Darksiders 1, 2 and 3. Uh, so that might be interesting. And I would just like to point out that design of this character, Fury, is so good. Like, look at her. I mean, from the uh, from the designs that we already saw, uh, Ward and Death, I think that she is the one that is looking the coolest, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. We've got few enemies that we can go for. Right now we've got one of those little ghouls. And we've got solar chairs, nice. And we got nice. Okie dokie. We've got something interesting going on down uh, on the bottom left corner. We've got Nephilim Respite. What the hell is Nephilim Respite? You might be wondering if you haven't played that game before. Nephilim Respite is just a health potion that you can regenerate, if that makes sense. Uh, when you are going, when you are killing enemies, that respite is loading up. And if it slows uh, loads up to, to the full, then you can use that to recover your health. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, 
que deu aqui, mais. É o que deu aqui. It's also something very weird that I found out when I was playing. Uh, in Dark Siders. In Dark Siders 1 we had the uh, salts as our as our currency for trading with Wolverine and so on, right? In Dark Siders 2 we had uh, coins that we could trade with Wolverine with well with quite a lot of traders really. And in here we are going back to the to souls, and that is quite interesting, you know. Because for each game they are doing something different, and I, I really enjoy that. Uh, but that is the thing that I'm not really happy about. That is this uh, using our whip to to overcome obstacles. That is that is something that I have a very hard time feeling how I should do it, in what moment I should push that button to, to you know, to, to use that whip on different pipes and so on. Very interesting. But uh, after playing a little bit, uh, I, I got that feeling that with War we had this brutal power. He was, he was like a tank, right, going through enemies. With Death I felt like it was more more like uh, more about your skill, agility, uh, precision, and so on. So it was more like a. I don't know. Uh, it's it's hard to even uh, call how exactly that and that feeling is when you are when you are playing as him. But he seems like something that is very uh, quiet when he's moving. Uh, you know, very stealthy type of guy. You cannot really do it in Darksiders because this is hack and slash, so you, you are supposed to hack and slash, right? But still, with war, you had to just, you, you had that feeling that you've got to go through the enemies. You be as close as you can and, you know, take a lot of damage, but also deal a lot of damage. With Fury, I've got that feeling that there's something in the middle between them. But maybe that is just me. Let's go. Haven. A haven for what? Vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here? I... I know not but what the council commands, mistress. The quest for the Seven begins here. Envy. Mine! Humans! Haven! Everything here! <laughs> Mine! Move on, horsemen, or ye be mine too! I'm on a mission. <laughs> Protecting humans? Humans think creation favors them. They are apes crawling through dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the grudge you're carrying. What they have, I will take. <laughs> when they have nothing left, they will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me! <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. I'm all yours. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Okie dokie, we already know about the film you spied, but okay. Oh, come on, I was dodging that attack. Okay, okay, nice. Nice, nice. This fight is a little bit weird, let me tell you that. It is challenging all of our skills that we let's use let's use respect. Shit, I just used that twice? Nope. Okay, okay, you got to do this weird parkour action right now. Nice. Okie dokie, nice. 
uh, just to get closer to her while she is powering up an attack that is about to destroy us. Let's go. Okie dokie. Shit. Okie dokie. We got to be just far enough from that attack. Okie dokie. Shit. Let's go. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. Because I find it that it's really ha sometimes hard to uh, be far enough from that attack to happen. Nice. And the third part of this fight. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. That was a very little loading up of this. Oh, the screen, what the hell happened? Nice, come on, let's go up. Let's go, nice. Nice. Nice, let's go. Nice, okay, so far it's going pretty good. Better than it was going from previous times what has it played. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh shit, oh shit. Nice. Oh, okay, look, you've got full health. Nice. <laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. <laughs> That's mine! supposed to catch envy I did nice this talisman it's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... Well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow... Will indicate when one of the Seven is nearby. I know. So wise. You are all that the Council promised, Mistress. I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. God damn it, it is so easy to manipulate her, that is just crazy. Say a few good words about her and she is going crazy. Okie dokie, there's her crystals, great. Okie dokie, there is something weird with the game loading sometimes I have to fiddle around with, uh, with with settings for sure also I've got to change my turn down the volume a little a little bit that's for sure it is quite loud I don't know what happened I thought that I tuned that but screw it oh, let's go okie dokie so we will see how far I will be able to go uh, because I made it quite far before and we'll see that will probably be uh, I will probably go a little bit further than where, where I previously left when I was I would be around. remiss in my duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge finding envy was easy enough that was a gift one I would not count on receiving twice Envy was also, by far, the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both Heaven and Hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. 
The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environs. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. Yeah, there is... I don't know if you can you can see that on video, but there's this weird stuttering. And I haven't really heard that uh, before when I was playing alone. Interesting. But let's go. Oh, for one moment I thought that she will not be able to catch on to that. And it seems like there is no going back. So if we miss something there, then it's lost. Nice, good to know. As you can see, this location looks like there will be Vulgrim here, but he isn't. Maybe he will I knew be. that war would one day unleash all this. But seeing it... <laughs> his gifts are impressive. May I see no horsemen, brethren. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, maybe he will, Vulgrim will appear here later. Who knows? We will see. Okay, okay. But for right now, let's go. Of course, we've got ghouls. Nice. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Shit, little ghouls. Okie dokie, with that we can keep on moving. There are quite a lot of ghouls here. You know. Okie dokie, let's go with that one. Nice. Let's go with that one. Nice. When you are fighting with an enemy, then most of the times. Oh, come here. Most of the times. Uh, you are staggering them, so they cannot really touch you. Uh, but yeah, when they are at the distance, they can jump. They can jump to you, and that is then very sh shitty. Okay, okay. Let's see. I've got that flame right here. Let's go. Nice. And of course, more are coming. Why not? Nice. Let's see, let's use a respite. What the hell was that sound? Okie dokie. As you can see, there are a lot of those flames that we can collect, but we cannot go to get them, we can get to them right now. One there, second there, and another one there. So, yeah. Very weird sounds. But let's continue. So we can go in here, and there are quite a few things that we can find in here. We can go down there, but we'll do it in just a moment. Right now, let's continue. Let's go up here. Let's go here first. And there is something that we cannot yet do. You would think that we can do like this wall jumping that we did in, in previous games, right? But it's right now locked for us. Okay, okay. And from what I remember, we are not getting anything from destroying the the stuff around us. Uh, from what I remember, from what I saw when I was playing that before. But I might be wrong about it. There is for sure very interesting other that I would like to get. That will give us a little bit better abilities in that aspect. So, let's go. But for that we'll need quite a lot of souls. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do it just uh, right now. But we'll see. I mean, in this episode. Uh, this weapon is also a very interesting weapon, right? It's it's something quite different from from uh, from the blade, big big sword that Warhead, 
and sights and a lot of secondary weapons that uh, Dev had. Very weird. And this system of swinging is very weird. Uh, as I said before, I cannot really understand in what moment I am supposed to push that, uh, that button where I shouldn't. It's very weird. This is very weird. We're going through that tunnel with a very weird perspective of of the world, and I don't think that that is hidden loading screen. That is my wild guess. But we'll see about it. Oh, hello. Nice. Okay, here, let's go. Nice. Okay, we've got another enemy right there. That is the one that is throwing things at us. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I was dodging that. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. When I was playing previously, when I jumped up, he jumped down. That was very shitty. But we've got this flame right here. And wall that we can't really destroy. So probably we'll return here. Or maybe I will return here after the... Uh, before before the episodes, after the episodes, behind the scenes. Oh! 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 I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh, get out of here. Before when I was playing, I had nothing from destroying stuff, so I just assumed that we are not getting anything from destroying destroyable objects in this game. Shit, I was clearly wrong. Oh, shit. Okay, that's interesting. So there is still something that I can learn. Yeah, come here. Come to fear. She will destroy you. Okay, okay, that is guy that we don't want to fight with right now. Maybe when we will be a little bit more powerful. Okay, okay. Oh, come on, go, come here. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Let's go. And come on, oh, come on, I'm dodging your in attacks. This is very weird sometimes. With this combat system, maybe I should have gone with classic combat system. Maybe that was my mistake. Who knows right now. Uh, we checked. The, we checked that mark. We we said that we'll be going with the with the default option. So we'll go with default option. We cannot access that right now. That is shitty. But we cannot do it. Also, there is weird flame that is guarded by that creature. But as soon as we go uh, close to that, we are getting attacked. So nope, we are not doing that. Right now I'm aiming for zero deaths, so we'll Perhaps see. Perhaps there are human survivors. Not my concern. As I was trying to say, we'll try to go with zero deaths as as far as we can. But I, I don't have high hopes for me doing that. So I also hope that you don't have high hopes for that. Okay, okay. Let's continue. That tree, it's impressive, but is it just me or is it out of place here? It is amazing. Okay, no kid, I was a little bit too close to dying, uh, but we managed to do it. Nice. Okay, no kid. Previously, I haven't found that when I was playing, so I'm still finding something new. And uh, nice. But I found out something right here that we can go with. Go here. Oh, nice. Okie dokie, great. Okie dokie. Let's see, destroying that hasn't really done anything. Okie dokie, let's just continue. Uh, 
so yeah, we cannot go in this direction. We cannot also go down. I mean, we don't want to go down, right? Have we been there? I think that we have been there. Let's not drop down, that's for sure. Okay, okay, let's just continue moving in, in the right direction. That is a very cool looking building. And with those, with those trees growing from those buildings, that is even better. Let's just go. Oh, of course, we've got enemies attacking us out of nowhere. And that's pretty normal for uh, anyone who played Darksiders before. Yeah. And that would be not. God damn it, it is right now worth it to destroy that. I mean, to destroy everything. Why I haven't noticed that before? God damn it. Right, okay, okay, nice. Let's continue. Of course, we got some shit with the enemies. I guess that those we will be seeing those goals for quite a lot of. Uh, quite a big part of the game, I guess. There's also this weird mushroom, something like that, that we cannot yet use. So yeah, let's remember that that is here. Let's see where we're going with that. Aren't we making a mighty ruckus? Says the demon who announces his ambush. It was not my intention to do battle, horseman! <laughs> well, such a passionate little thing, aren't we? Do not test my patience. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, horseman. I am here in the name of blind capitalism. I am Vulgren, merchant of the damned, a trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. And whose souls do you trade in? Angel, demon, or even human. All souls have value to me. I've seen the trail of bodies you've left in your wake. What would I require from you? That depends. What are your needs? Information. The seven deadly sins. Whispers on the wind say that the fabled horsemen are but pawns in a larger game. Victims of a grand setup. What do you know? I know that the first one's free. Call for me if you have souls to trade, and perhaps you will consider my wares valuable. Okie dokie, so in, in, in each game we are getting a little bit more information that something is clearly wrong about the situation that war has right now gotten into and Death uh, assumed that it is happening so that's why he tried to redeem his brother and Furious right now, she haven't really thought about it before but right now she's getting a little bit of glimpses of information that something is freaking wrong in here Okie dokie, we are here right now, uh, not that, we are here right now, uh, we don't have any levels yet to spend, but that is not something that I wanted to do, uh, let's see, here we got crystals, and shit, we will not have enough crystals, damn it, okay, so we will be not shattering that. Uh, we can we can do three things uh, with Vulgum other than saying goodbye to him we can this will be fun for both of us. shut up I'm trying to figure that out with viewers you can feed him souls and that will give you more levels great As you, wish. you can take your time you can buy something from him, so there is quite a lot of stuff that you can buy. Uh, that is something that I would like to get for sure, but we're not right now. Uh, but also, you've got artifacts that you can use. And look at that, that is something that I would like to get. So, you've got Unfocused Leviathan. 
and that is giving you a larger soul, so souls, I guess. Uh, that is giving you souls when you are breaking objects. So something that I would like to get, right? And it is also giving us health regeneration. So very, very cool. So I feel like in combat we can do quite good. Maybe that is wrong decision. Maybe not. We'll see. But I would like to save enough uh, souls for us to to buy that unfocused Leviathan first. As you wish. That is probably a shitty decision, but screw it. Uh, we can also go with Serpent Holes. So uh, it's looking the same as in Darksiders 1. We've got different locations where you can find Wolgrim and that unlocks you Serpent Hole that you can later fast travel to. As you wish. Okay, let's get out. Oh, do make sure they scream, Horseman. So far I haven't figured out what is punishment for death in this game. Because after you die you are going Vulgrim and his demon tongue. They live to confound and feed of the scraps of a world they help destroy. Indeed they do. But despite his thirst for souls, Volgram may be a useful tool on this journey. Okay, we'll jump to that location in just a moment. Maybe you can do it from from this location. Yep, we can. Okay, okay. Made him clump. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'm doing very shitty decision right now when we're not. Uh, spending my levels, but through it. As I said before, I'm I haven't figured out. Oh, hello, guys! I haven't figured out what is punishment for death in this game. Uh, because when you die, you are just going uh, going back to the, to the last uh, location that you saved, and I believe. And yeah, that's great and all, but. Yours, you are dropping your souls and then you have to grab them. But I haven't figured out if you are losing some souls or something like that. So that is weird. Nice. Great, large clump. Okay, okay, let's see. We don't have enough right now, right? I don't think so. Nope. Clearly not. Okay, dokie. So let's continue. Probably there are a lot of things that are missing, and probably it is possible to grab that f that upgrade uh, in the first few minutes of the gameplay before reaching Wolverine. There is something weird going on with loading of the game, as you can see. Right? Can you see that on video? I think so. Very weird. Okie dokie. But screw it, let's continue. We cannot do anything with that web. That is shitty, but screw it. But we can collect that soul, uh, soul clump. Okie dokie, and we can continue going on those routes. That is for sure a very safe method of transportation. Walking on giant routes. <laughs> the length these routes have grown. They seem to have taken over everything. Indeed, mistress. And that's everything that she will say to us right now. Okie dokie. Is there something that we could access from this location? Good question, Uber. Good question. Are they here enemies? And they will be somewhere here, I believe. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, let's go. Nice. Oh, let's go. Nice. And if you are wondering if we can use that wind, well, <laughs> we cannot. I learned that the hard way falling down there. And if you fall down there, then you will die. So, yeah, quick lesson learned. Let's go. Nice. Come on. 
Oh, come on. Let's use respite. Because we can hold maximum of two respites, so... It is a good idea to use them from time to time. Okay, okay, we don't want to go down there. Oh, Hidoki, you've got to admit that, that this game looks cool. Right, it came out quite a lot of, quite a long time ago. I mean, not as, as long as the first, first Darksiders or the second, right? Three years ago, but what was that stuttering? Just as I said that this game is cool looking and running really smooth. Oh, great. Okay, okay, screw it. Nice, let's continue. But yeah, I have to do something for video setting, that for sure. Okay, okay, so nice. Let's go. Oh, come here. Oh, I think that the cage is ready. Okay, that's for a game, nice. Nice. Okay, that from what I understand, we cannot jump there. That would probably result in us dying. So let's leave that. We can go up here and we can destroy something. Those souls. Nice. And that hasn't really gave us a lot of souls. But screw it. Uh, let's see, how much do we have right now? Uh, not really that, that much, we don't have enough. Okay, dokie, screw it. But there's also something that I would like to get. It is down here, right here. Oh, so, that's good. Very nice. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, up we go. We cannot destroy anything, let's we'll just go back up. We can destroy those chairs. Uh, that hasn't really done anything. Okay, okay, nice. Nothing up there. So I guess let's just continue. Yeah, and that seems like a good option. Okay, let's go. That is sh really shitty part. When we are swinging like that. You've got to be kidding me. What the hell? What the hell? Excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, hello? Weird. Before, when I was playing, one jump was enough to to go to to be close enough for that swing I'm to occur. As to who remains here, if anyone. Well, we got Vulcan, so that's great, and all. But we don't want anything from him. Let's go here. reserving the right to kill you where you stand. And you are? Surprised. I'm more than a little relieved. Call me Ulfane Blackhammer. So, you'll not be flattening me today? Hmm. A maker, are you not? Aye, when there's something to make. Today, my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Like your counsel, I care for balance, horsemen. Humans, frail as they be, are part of the balance. Surely you're here to help protect them. <sighs> Wrong question. <laughs> A tribe of useless, hairless simians whose greatest talent was inventing ingenious new ways to divide and destroy one another. They could suffer forever or die tomorrow, and I wouldn't bat an eye either way. Then what is your business here? What do they call you? Jones. 
Jones. Question me again with your last breath. <laughs> Look around. Look what's happened here. Do you honestly think anything scares me now? Easy, lad. This one's none for trifles. Yeah? What do I have to lose? This moronic conflict makes you all look so stupid. Angel, demon, horseman, even maker. What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me. I like this one. You may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity might stand the chance. While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here to root out the seven deadly sins and return them to the Council. No less, no more. What if I can help you? That by the chain you carry could use someone. I sincerely doubt that. I'm faring quite well without any help. <sighs> of course. But in case you missed the moniker, I am a maker who specializes in instruments of destruction, chaos, and the deliverance of pain. So it stands to reason that we little Ulthane could enhance your arsenal if your horsemanship would give me the chance. In exchange for? Humanity will not survive without aid. If you come across any humans on your journey, please direct them here. Haven is the only place they might be sufficiently protected. Direct them? How do you expect the apes to cross a battlefield and find you? Oh, I don't. They'll need this, the bridge. Only humans can use it. One touch, they're sent to Haven. Must I touch them? I accept your offer, Maker. Though I doubt it will make your collection any less useless. <laughs> we have a non-deal, then. As a show of good faith, a gift. Wrath. Where? You seek a pit of hellstretch set in the nether, beneath the city. And please, horsemen. Yes, yes. I will shepherd the wee ones your way, pointless as it may be. We'll see. And remember, Fury, the doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. Okay, okay, that was quite interesting. So clearly, developers of the game are presenting uh, Fury in a way that. You cannot really like her from beginning, you, like you can respect her, right? But the way that she is talking to other beings is quite weird. War and the death has have have been uh, more tempered, something like that. And they for sure knew how to speak to to different beings with respect, and you know, with that thought in mind that. They might be able to help us if we'll be right, if we'll be good enough for them, right? But that is quite an interesting uh, location, haven. Uh, we can. Hey, horseman! You are my horseman or horse lady? Or horse person? Oh, that's interesting. I haven't thought about it before. We can explore this location, but there is not too much going on here, if I remember correctly. We can go on those platforms, but there is not too much to see, right? We can destroy a little bit of stuff, but I don't know if that is worth it. Maybe let's leave destroying that for where we have Leviathan. And let's... Place is beautiful. You haven't seen beautiful places yet. And we can go here. And we can do something with that. Let's see, let's hope that no falling down this time. Oh come on, you've got to be kidding me. Okie dokie, one more time. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, and we cannot go through that web, so let's just go back. 
Okay, dokie. Let's see, we can jump down. We cannot jump down, we can. Nice. We've got two more makers here, that is quite interesting. And we still got a few minutes of this episode, so let's just go down. Okay, dokie. And this is as far as I go. He is certainly committed to his cause. Ul Thane, he is blind to what truly matters. Perhaps, yes. Just another pawn who will never understand the game into which he's been played. <laughs> and he does love the sound of his own voice, doesn't he? Not like anyone I Did you say something? Holy shit, that was interesting conversation. And this is as far as I went when I was testing out the game. So yeah, from now on it's quite a new territory for us. I mean, for me. Oh! Oh, hello! Look at that! You know, I just felt like there is, there might be something hiding. We need here. Nice! Okay, okay. I do wonder if that loot that we are getting right now is randomized, or are we getting... Uh, no matter how many times we play the game, we'll get the same stuff in here. I do wonder about that. Okay, okay, we've got the full game right here. And probably a lot of enemies around. Let us see one there. Angelic artifacts. What? Okay. That's something to know. Nice. Oh, come on. Let's go. Come on. That was shitty. Okay, we got two more guys. Great. Or even three. Or even four, yeah, bring them all. Nice, nice. We got under fire. Small clamp, we've got one guy there. From what I remember uh, about, well, from what I saw about this game, this is like a location to be going through quite a lot of times. We've got go right here, let's go. We got Havoc form. Previously I managed to reach them quite a lot faster. That's ah, screwed. Oh hello guys, that's quite a lot of you really. Okay, okay, nice. Let's grab that. Adamantin. Oh hello. Okay doc, you are finding quite a lot of stuff and I really, really like that. You cannot use and you cannot use that wind. That is shitty, we cannot go up here. That is also shitty, but screw it. Let's see what we can do. We can go up here, there are some enemies following us. Okay, okay, but they will not be able to reach us, right? Oh, they will. He is able to reach us. I thought there, there are a little bit more enemies, but that seems like only one is coming. Sheet. Let's run. Let's go. Is the big guy following us? Fortification shot. Okay, the big guy is not coming. Oh shit. But he's attacking us from the distance. I don't think we are ready yet for taking him out. So I'll just leave that. Yeah, you can try to reach us, but I fear that you will not be able to do it. Yeah, you can try. Okay, okay. Great. Okay, okay. Oh, shit, come on. Oh, that's quite a lot of you guys. Shit. 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 And I guess that we will learn the hard way what is the, the consequence of us dying. Shit. That's a good way to end the episode, right? With dying. Okay, dokie. So we have zero souls. I don't remember how much we have. 
over 2000. Right, and all the enemies are respawned right now. Great, let's go. Oh, let's go. oh, get out of here. Nice, nice, let's go. Nice. Oh, come on. Just focus on the enemy that is closest to you. Fury, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. Able to Let's go. That is probably a way so far. Oh, that was... That was the favorite form, that was uh, Arcane Attack, something like that. It doesn't matter. Oh, great. Oh, nice. I, I, but I was kidding, that was very shitty performance on our side. Okie dokie, and our souls are floating right here. Let's see how many souls we'll get from that. It seems like we grabbed all of the souls that that we lost. Oh, oh, that is nice. Okay, that rough shard. Can jump down there? Would you like to do that? I don't know. Okay, okay. Let's see. We have probably enemy behind that. Nope. I am surprised, to say the least. We've got another flame right there. Okie dokie. And I hear enemies somewhere. Holy shit, what the hell is that? Let's nice, let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, let's go far. Take it from the view. Nice. Oh, okay, thank you. Let's get out of that. Can we finish that faster? Yes, we can. Nice. Silver of Adamant. Okay, thank you very much. Smart cluster. Nice. Oh, okie dokie. Maybe with that Havoc form we could take out that big guy. Yeah, that's probably a possibility. So after we will be able to use that again, maybe we'll return to to the big guy. And the previous big guy. Yeah, that's for sure. Okie dokie. So we've got quite a lot of uh, souls right now. Why don't we uh, shatter all the crystals that we right now have? Yeah, let's go. Okie dokie, nice, nice. Oh yeah, baby. Nice, Vulgrim. What would you ask of this hum? Take your time. I've got quite a lot of souls to spend. So why don't we just go with that? So yeah, we'd like to go with that, right? That one is quite cool, but let's go with that. That is also health regeneration, so... And I hope that my lurchers, he means that we'll get souls and not health. I mean, health would be also good, right? But let's go with that. Nice. And An excellent choice. Great. As you wish. And we'll feed the rest of the yes. souls. Will be fun for both of us. Nice. You can just feed those souls just in case we will be uh, losing them in a very short amount of time. As you wish. Oh, do make sure they scream, Horseman. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can uh, increase something. So I would like to go with health. You know, either we'll have more health, so we can fight for longer period, periods of time, or we have more strength or arcane damage that will uh, that will deal more damage, so that we'll not have will not have to have more health, if that makes sense. But I guess let's go with health. Yeah, let's go. Nice. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, our barbs of scorn. Let's equip that and focus Leviathan. 
Great. And let's see. And we are getting souls just from destroying stuff. I guess not cars. Not cars, but probably something else like like everything else. Nice. Let's see, also destroy that. And just a little bit of souls, but that's for sure worth it. And we got even more souls already. Nice. Okay, thank you. So yeah, from now on we will destroy everything that we will see. Well, at least uh, we, I will be trying to collect more souls, right? Oh, come on. That is indestructible. Even if I manage to hit that, it's not doing too much. Okay, okay. Something else that I would like to destroy? Not really. Well, maybe here. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, the amount of souls that you are getting from that is not impressive, right? Or anything like that. But it's something. It's doing something for us, right? When we are just destroying stuff. So that's great. Okie dokie. Can we do something with that? Not really. Okie dokie, so that will be the the end of this episode. I would like to thank you all for watching and of course see you in the next one. Bye bye.